Hey guys, what's up? Etsy Fit Chick here. So as promised, I am giving you an update about um, my transformation, you know, getting back on track with eating right and working out and sticking to my plan. So um, throughout the week, the first few days, I was pretty bloated, which is normal for me when I am starting to change my eating habits. My body's just getting used to it. So I kind of expected that. Um, first few days, I was fine. I was pretty sore after my workouts. So I'm definitely getting in my BCAAs twice a day during my workouts and also in the morning. Um, day three, I'm sorry, day four and five, I actually started to have cravings. Um, having some temptations when I was going to the grocery store. I work um, in a place where there's always like potlucks and foods. So um, luckily there were some things that I could take part in as far as like chicken and salad and that sort of thing. Um, but of course, had to resist those delicious desserts and they just look so good. Um, I think that that's pretty normal for me too, to when I'm starting to restrict foods, like just anything sounds kind of good because I'm not even a pie person, like I don't even like pie. And I was at the grocery store and they're handing out free samples. I'm like, oh, pie. No, I can't have it. So, XO, XO, can't, can't have it. So, uh, getting through that just fine though. I'm glad that I'm staying strong because I don't want to have to start the process all over. Um, and I know that the results will be worth it in the end. So, you really have to have willpower during these things and fight those temptations. As far as workouts go, um, my workouts, I'm working on strength right now. So I'm not really training a specific muscle group each day. Um, I'm following the plan that my coach had given me when I first started training for a competition because I really found myself improving a lot with my strength and it helps me later down the line. So there are different um, moves that are incorporated. Now with strength, I'm doing lower reps but I'm doing higher weight. And each week I'll increase my weight by two and a half percent. So the goal is to get stronger each week. So the reps are pretty low um, as well as the sets. So I probably do um, six reps and five sets and then there are other ones that I do three sets of 12 or 15. And um, they are, it's two ex two to three exercises at a time. So I'll do one exercise, go to the next, go back to the first, go to the next, and then I'll do another group of exercises. And with those, I'm really concentrating on holding it in the movement and really having that muscle control. So it fatigues my muscles pretty quick, actually, which is good because I know I'm getting a good workout and I'm definitely feeling it the next day. Like I said, I've been having my BCAAs in the morning, too. So thankful for my BCAAs. Um, as far as pre-workout, I've been having my MRI hemo surge, and that is really good. Really helps me uh, get through my workouts, stay focused, uh, push out the reps. Really, I work out at the end of the day, so I'm pretty tired. So it just helps me get through my workout. One thing I also want to talk about is stretching. You, I, I'm making sure that I stretch because I don't want any more injuries. Um, and also, you want to stretch to help get that lactic acid moving. You want to get the blood flow to the muscle so it can repair itself. I think a lot of people overlook stretching and they just kind of forget about it, but it's important. So I stretch before, during, and after my workouts. So between sets when I'm taking that rest, I'll stretch those muscles, kind of get them loosened back up, get that blood flow in there so I can optimize my workout. Um... So it's two days of work and then an active rest day, then a day of cardio, and then another two days of working out and then an active rest day. So like I said in my previous video, you're never really just having a day off, but active rest day, that's something where you do like yoga. Um, I have a yoga swing, so I haven't done that this week, but eventually in the future I will because I really want to get stretched out and help the recovery move along on those days off. <laughs> um, cardio, because of my ankle, I'm only able to do the bike. So I've done this thing that I call big room biking. Um, I do it in my garage, so it's really warm in there. Don't worry, I'm keeping myself hydrated because safety is first. Um, but I'll go ahead and do that for 45 minutes to an hour. I just plug in some Hulu and pedal away for those hours. Well, hour. Sorry about that. Anyways. Um, I think overall it's 
been a good week. I was a little tired at the end of the week, um, but I'm also training some people at work, so that keeps my mind moving all the time and I get a little bit tired from that as well. My sleep has been great. I have been so tired. It's like as soon as my head hits the pillow, I am asleep. Um, I stayed on track with my eating all week, so that's good. Now, I did gain two pounds this week and a lot of people would step on the scale and freak out, but it's not that bad. Like I actually expected to gain weight. Part of it's probably gonna be some inflammation, so my body is retaining a little bit of water, getting used to that um, muscle breakdown and growth. Um, and then the other part of it is muscle weighs more than fat. So as I build muscle, I'm gonna gain weight. And historically, I've gained weight. But it's okay because I'm not worried about that. While I'm gaining weight, my waist is still shrinking. Like I'm still starting to see the muscle definition. So guys, do not worry about the number on the scale. Worry about the results that you're seeing. Pay attention to those things because those are the important things. The scale can be so deceiving. It can have a lot to do with the water that you're drinking. Um, actually also being dehydrated, how much salt are you having? Is there inflammation? So many things go into it. And I also treated myself to a massage, a medical massage, because I did unfortunately start having some problems with my ankle. I tripped on a blanket in the middle of the night when I was walking to the bathroom, so my ankle is all flared up again and really swollen. So I needed to go and have that addressed. Obviously I have to take it easy on my ankle because I want it to heal and repair and be able to work at my best. So as I've learned in the past, don't push the injury, don't just try to work through it. So I am kind of babying that ankle right now, but making sure that I ice, rest, elevate, and also going for the proper therapy. So just taking care of myself. I'm pleased with the week. Um, I'm looking forward to the progress in the future. Like I said, I'm probably gonna get bigger before I get smaller, but that's okay, that's part of the plan. And um, there are days that I've looked in the mirror and I'm like, ugh. I had one of those mornings today before I went to go work out. I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe I should change. And somebody else was like, no, you look great. And I'm like, okay, well, it's all in my head then because I don't feel cute right now. But then it's amazing what workout can do for your mind because when I was done, I was like, yeah, I look cute. I'm feeling this. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, so got my workout in today. And I did some lat pull downs, I did some core exercises, I did some dumbbell curls. Uh, most of today was a lot of core work, which also helped work my back and shoulders. So it was kind of a combination of things. And um, I totally lost my train of thought. You know, fun moments, they happen, I guess. <laughs> So I came home from my workout. I did part of my food prep beforehand because I did need propane to get the grill started. So when I came home, propane was here. I was able to go ahead and grill. So I grilled up um, my chicken and my turkey and all of that for the week. So I am all set. I also got some blueberries to go along with that, some cucumbers, lots of broccoli. I'm not a big veggie fan. So my go-to veggies are usually broccoli, zucchini, and then um, green beans, which I don't even love them frozen. Though, so really, it's mostly broccoli and zucchini. But anyways, that's the gist of that. Um, I guess that's it for this week, but I'm looking forward to updating you guys more in the future. Um, and I encourage you to join this fitness journey. Join the challenge with me. Do it with me. Let's see results together. If you guys have any questions, comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. As always, thank you so much for watching. I know that you, your time is valuable and I really appreciate you watching this video. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Take care.